Well, obviously, uh, you know, thought our guys came in and really, really competed um, and, uh, you know, did some different things going into the game. And obviously, both teams were, were forced to play small. Um, you know, I, th I thought um, I thought late in the game, I'm anxious to see some of them. Um, you know, I thought Russell's charge was a, was, was a big play in the game. Uh, I thought Ferguson's over the back foul. That was another big play. We had another couple fouls. We put him to the free throw line. Um, you know, I don't know if those calls were, were accurate or not. Well, I'm, see, I'm not, I don't have any opinion on it. They, just, they were tough calls that could have changed momentum a little bit. I know Paul had a couple free throws we could have knocked down. So we kind of struggled to put, just keep continue to put some points on the board. We gave them some free throws. Harkless shot at well from the free throw line. And then obviously Lillard had uh, a, a great game from, from start to finish. So. You know, our guys battled and competed and, um, you know, just weren't able to close the game out. Billy, with the way you all defended with Jeremy kind of in the pick and rolls, Adams on, on Harkless, they didn't get rolls to the rim and, and catch and shoots, kind of betting that Lillard wasn't going to be able to shoot the way that he did. W was that sort of the, the strategy that, that you tried to go to? And did you feel like it had a chance to work? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understood I mean, in terms of what part. I guess, did you feel like Lillard might run out of gas having to go with oh, one the entire um, game? You know, obviously he played the whole first half. Um, I probably would have done the same thing with Paul, you know, had he not picked up fouls. Um, you know, we, I thought we gave a really, really good effort, but he was really, um, he made some tough shots. I mean, you got to give him credit. I mean, I think at the night he had, uh, and the shots that he made, um, epitomized the last shot of the game. Those are kind of some of the shots he made throughout the first half. Um, I thought some of them were really well defended. I thought we worked hard. We tried to trap him some. Uh, sometimes he was able to kind of get through it and get downhill. I thought we came over and pulled across and help. Um, you know, I know McCollum never really got into the flow of the game uh, with the foul trouble, but I thought, you know, that last five minutes, he kind of stepped up and made some big shots for them as well. You know, in critical times like elbow, mid-range, pull-up jumpers off the dribble, well guarded. Um, and, um, you know, that obviously uh, kind of got them on their run. Billy, Brett Dawson with The Athletic. Obviously, you're, you're a pretty even-keeled guy, but, but just emotionally, what kind of note is that to, to go out a season with to end on a buzzer beater on that kind of play? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because, you know, you're sitting over there as a coach and your guys are really fighting and battling and they're doing everything they can do. And like I said, we had some things down that just didn't really go well. And I don't fault our guys at all. I, I just say there was plays like we made a great play to Dennis in the corner and we just couldn't knock down a shot. Terrence, I thought, tipped the ball to Paul for a layup and, uh, you know, we got called for a foul. Russell's charge. Jeremy had one on the baseline. We just didn't finish it. We just kind of came up with some empty possessions. And we were doing some really, really good things. We just didn't finish some plays to kind of really just keep extending the lead. And then some of the fouling, and then obviously their shot making, you know, got them back in the game. Yeah, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. And Billy, you shot 54% from the field, 44% from three. So you offensively played well. Do you feel like your defense played well and Lillard just had a game for the ages? Yeah, I mean, I thought we moved the basketball. I thought we really did some better things than, you know, I, th I thought closing out um, this, the, the second half of um, uh, game four, you know, we weren't, we, we needed to be better offensively. I thought we had our moments, we were okay. I really thought tonight from start to finish, we, we, played, uh, we played well offensively. You know, both teams are small, there's a lot of switching. So there was obviously a lot of having to play isolation, elbow, drive, basketball. Um, you know, but I thought I thought our guys played and did a good job offensively, defensively. Um, you know, I'll watch the film, but I really felt like from the sideline, Lillard made some really, really hard shots. You know, he had, he had, even early in the game, he had one where he was driving and he jumped off one leg. And he was behind the backboard and kind of shot a runner on the baseline. And he made that one. He made a tough three out of the corner. There was one Dennis was really on him tightly, and he made it. Um, maybe could even could, could, couldn't he couldn't could have even been a foul. Um, um, He's more than welcome to sit with me. Um, but I, I mean, I thought we really battled. I thought the different things that um, that Jeremy was able to do flexibility-wise was, was good for us. Billy, uh, Eric Anderson, USA Today over here. Uh, your team was fourth in defensive rating all year. Uh, what do you think overall about your defense on, on Dame and CJ throughout the whole series? Obviously, you mentioned shot making, but do you think that was mostly what it was? Yeah. 
I mean, McCollum's driving, and everybody talks about the analytics. Mid-range jump shots are not good jump shots, and you're, you're making them take contested jump shots. It's hard. I mean, the shot that Little made at the end of the game was near half court. You know, so I don't know. You, know, you can't. You're not going to guard. You know, a whole entire half court. You want guys to make certain shots, and I thought our guys battled. And when those guys have space like that and a lot of room to maneuver, even when we were trying to trap uh, him, you know, he was taking on Stephen Adams. Um, Stephen did a really, really good job, I thought, in the second half of really trying to contain him and control him and corral him as best he could. But he, you know, splits it and he drives it and he does that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, I thought our guys worked really, really hard, and I thought those guys made some really, really hard shots. I mean, just call it like it is, and give them credit for doing it. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. You walk through that kind of that last possession. You mentioned it's almost half court. What are you thinking when that shot goes up from Lowe? Well, I knew it was going up because I was kind of watching the clock because I was watching the way the floor was balanced on, on along the baseline because I thought if he ended up driving past Paul, we're going to have to come over and help as the clock went down. Once it got to about, I looked up, there was like, obviously the tens of seconds were growing quick. It was like two and a half seconds. I'm like, okay, he's shooting this because he doesn't have time to go anywhere else. And he kind of just kind of got into rhythm and shot it. And, uh, you know, Paul contested it. Paul was out there. And I thought, you know, I thought Paul, you know, the, the game he had tonight was just, I, I thought, terrific. You know, he was really efficient on offense. He, you know, guarded literally called McCollum. He did so many different things for us. And, you know, um, same thing with Russell and Jeremy, Stephen, all of our guys, Dennis, I, I, they all battled. So, uh, you know, obviously it was, it was a tough, tough way to end, but it was, it was a, obviously an unbelievable shot. Thank you. Thank you.